Sir Friedrich Inglewood, the ship is ready, and we are ready to kill the pirate. Exactly, Charles. We are going to kill Boba and get revenge, but not quite yet. May I ask, sir, for what reason? Charles, have you heard of one called Captain Hook? He fought with someone called Peter Pan. Now, Captain Hook was very wealthy, and he amassed his wealth in a great stockpile. But then he died. Do you want the treasure? No, Charles. You see, when a pirate as great as Captain Hook dies, he leaves behind his legacy in the form of an item. For Captain Hook, of course, this is his hook, which grants the power to control the sea and eternal life to its user. Now, there's only one way I know how to get this hook. Captain Bobo. Say, Captain Bobo? Never mind, Bones, there's nothing. I was not saying anything at all. You just keep drawing like the perfect gentleman. This was a close one. Ah, so these are yours! Captain Ho Ho? Arr, yes, it be. I come as a messenger, Bobo. Not on good terms, though. Do you remember Sir Friedrich Inglewood? The man you killed on the island of... Uh... Pentalone! Yes, 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 yes. He's out to kill me. I've heard it a million times, Captain. Not exactly. Look at your map, Bobo. What? Do I have a speech impediment? Look at your map closely. The map leads to more than just one place. Sir Friedrich Inglewood doesn't want just revenge on you. He wants the hook of Captain Hook, which will give him the power over the sea and eternal life. Unless one has the dagger of Peter Pan, which takes away the laugh given by the hook of Captain Hook, as well as taking away the laugh that is somehow given to the dead. But in order to unlock the hook of the Captain Hook, one has to have the ring of Wendy, which fortunately for us we have. <laughs> we do? Yes! We do. Now all we need is for you to stop him, Bobo. Utterly inconceivable. I can't do it. Why? I have stuff to do. Like what? Oh, thank you, something. Do you remember this picture, Bobo? Do you? Your father, Captain Francis, trusted me and your mother to raise you after his death. I don't care how old or independent you are. I won't let it be said that Captain Ho-Ho didn't keep his word to raise you in the best way he knew how. Now, Bobo, the world is on its edge. You can either choose one way and save it, or choose another way and condemn it, losing all pirating and freedom of the sea with it as well. It's your choice, but that one choice, you will affect millions of other. Alright, so all I do is sail to the island, get the hook of Captain Hook before Inglewood does, saving the world, and in return I'll get all of Captain Hook's goodies, power over the sea, and the ability to live forever. There's only one way to truly live forever, Bobo. 
Take it from me. You can't cheat death. No matter how far or long you run, it comes for all of us eventually. Well. You're a good kid, Bobo. Yes, you are. But good isn't always good enough. Hey, Captain, can you come up here? Yes, Bones, I'll be up in a second. Hey, 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 hey. Before you go, why does the ocean roar? You would too if you had oysters in your bed and crabs on your bottom. <laughs> well, what is it, Bones? There's a ship going to pull up to us, Captain. Well, yeah, let me pull out my telescope and we'll take a look, shall we? Well, I can honestly say that I have no idea who that man is, but I can say that whoever he is, he has a much better telescope than me. You are using a toilet paper roll, Captain. Thank you for destroying someone's child, Bones. Ah, oh, Captain Bo. Finally we meet again. I have gone through great pain to be here, and I hope for safety. Me and my butler, Charles, who I know you better, plan to take over your ship. All right! You're that man named Sir Frederick or Frederick or Francis or something in gold that's trying to kill me is really trying to get that book of Captain Hook, which gives eternal law and um, power over the sea to anyone who possesses it, unless that one person is stabbed with the dagger of Peter Pan, which takes away from the law given by the book of Captain Hook. But in order to unlock the hook of Captain Hook, you have to have the ring of Wendy, which I'm assuming you probably don't have, but I don't know who has it because of things that I don't know. Or oh, understand. And so you're either after me for something like that, or you're looking for the map that leads to the treasure of Captain Hook. But I don't know. Possibly you might be looking for both. What? Well, at least I know how to find it. Interesting. Well, I never was one for good so as they say in Spanish, hasta la vista, mate. Well, at first I thought it would be a bad thing for me to be on this island, but looking at my map, I found that this is a place where I could find the dagger of Peter Pan giving me the ability to kill anyone with the hook of Captain Hook. And, by looking at my map, and using my trusty compass, I found that this is the place where I can find that dagger. So let's take a look. I got it, everybody! I got the dagger of Peter Pan. I've got the dagger of Peter Pan. And look, there's my ship, too. It's my lucky day, everybody. Even though there's nobody here. Anyway, it's time for me to save the day and save Bones from probably being hanged. Or something really bad. Bye bye. And this is how you save your friend. Go in the gym.
I have received a letter that needs to be received while prisoner in the prison. Hmm. All right. Thank you very much. Oh, hey, before you go, you want to see my fancy sandwich? That is a fancy sandwich. Mm -hmm. What's on it? Oh, there's salami and mayonnaise and bread. Oh, I love mayonnaise. <laughs> see, I have an idea. How about you and me share the sandwich together, eh? How about no? Hey, wait a second. Come back here. You look awfully familiar. I don't think we've ever met before. You need to learn to be a better eater. Yeah, you know, you look exactly like someone I know, but just without the mustache. <gasps> it's you, Captain oh. Bobo. Exposed. I think it's time that I'll leave my exit. Hold on. Not so fast. <laughs> Does this always have to happen to me? So, I'm gonna break us out of here. Mr. Bubbles, have you ever heard of by chance the story of Captain Bobo? Oh, no. Oh, well. Never mind. He doesn't have a skeleton key, so it doesn't work. No. Mr. Bubbles, I'll ask you once again. Yes. How did Porridge get out of prison cells in the old days? Well, I don't know. Leverage. Oh, goodness. He's a little bit sack. I need to oil these. Skeleton keys may have rescued your comrade Bones, but they will not save you now. What makes you think I'm Bubba? Uh, you're wearing a pirate hat? You have Martinelle in your hand in this obnoxious pink thing. Well, I'm not Bubba. I'm Batman! Batman? Really? I don't think so. Or not? Um, because you have a pirate hat, Martinelle obnoxious pink thing. Have you ever seen Batman before? Yes. When? A couple days ago. We locked him up in prison. You can be his roommate. Want to come? I prefer um, doing something else. That's like drinking Martinelli. Do you want some? Sure. Let's go. I'm not coming with you. you the prisoner. Ah, Captain Bobo. I see you're here. Sir Frederick Inglewood says that he's willing to finance the trip if you bring him one artifact. Did he by chance say that the artifact is in fact the book of Captain Hook which gives eternal life and power of the sea to anyone who possesses it? Oh, I don't care what the artifact is. Just get it. Let me explain it to you this way. I'll lead you, Hawkins, and Inglewood to this room. So Frederick Inglewood gets the book of Captain Hook and probably takes the treasure from you as well as possibly killing you and me. If he doesn't kill you then, then he has the book of Captain Hook which gives him control over the sea and so basically controlling all forms of life all over the world 
So, if he doesn't kill you then, he'll probably kill you later. Sally? The pastors. Sir, can we talk about it? Sir, you know, I've been thinking, and I came to a conclusion that maybe, like, how do you know we shouldn't trust oh, stop this pirate it. after Don't tell me you're believing his lies, too. No, he's, he's, I've been fooled by him once. I'm not being fooled again. <sighs> Captain Bobo, what's the word? I'll do it if I'll get just a few things. One, I'll lock. Two, I'll ship. And three, 116 bottles of root beer, as well as 87 bottles of Martinelli, and three fancy cigars. Either you do it or die. Oh, well, in face between two things, I always choose the one that makes me live the longest. So, yes. Excuse me, sir. They've just captured Bones, Captain Bobo's man. Captain Bobo, provide me with the map, please. Bones, where's the map? Here's the map. They said you wanted to see me, right? Oh, yes, I did, but that can wait. Come, have a fancy cigar. Thanks, mate. I always do it one thing. Hello, Polly. <laughs> I just love Snoopy. The idea of in your lungs and ruin your life is quite revolutionary. Yes, I suppose so. Who's that, may I ask? Ah, this is my dearly departed Beatrice. Shortly after we met, she died from a, a hangnail. This portrait I drew took me seven long days, seven long nights to complete. Well, I'm sorry. It can't be helped. Now, on to the matter which I called you here for. I've noticed it's been taking us longer than I wished for us to find the treasure. Yes, well. Since Mum was the word on how soon we had to get to the treasure, I took the liberty, especially since I know what you're going to do with the treasure when we get it, to delay the arrival as long as possible. Listen here, you pirate! I will kill every last man on this ship if we don't get what I want, so you better hurry up. Or should I hurry up, mate? Look over there. Golds? Yes, I brought him here. He's barely alive. So one touch of my sword will bring him back. And one stab will kill him. So get me to that treasure. Do I make myself clear? Completely. Oi! Johnny boy! That's Captain Hawkins, please. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Anyway, I'll have to talk to you because you are the only man on board this ship that understands with me that Sir Frederick Inglewood is a very not good man. Yes. I've had my doubts, but I just can't bring myself to trust a pirate. That would be insanity. Well, I'll ask you. Have you ever met a pirate that didn't tell the truth, or one that just didn't tell the whole truth? Both are wrong. I just don't know what to do. Look here, Matt. I can clearly see in your eyes that you know that I'm right. You know that you're technically supposed to side with Inglewood as well as Governor Tim. Because that's the right thing to do, but really, you know deep down that I'm right. And so, you really need to do that because that would be very beneficial to me, as well as probably you. Also, one last thing. You will join my sword because of one thing. And that, my friend, is curiosity.
Roll said you needed me to come in and read the map. Yes. Please use the desk. Before, we always read the map with Governor Tim and his man, Captain Hawkins. Last night, we wait till they come and right now. Do you want to have some of those fancy cigars, eh? <laughs> Not now, Bobo! <laughs> You would kindly just read the map. Magic word, mate? <sighs> Please. Ah, oh, Now, we have the map, which I will display on your table. And now, let me just pull out your trusty compass. Well, let's see here. So, it looks like it's actually, I'm never quite sure, you know, because I could always be looking at it the wrong way, because it is a double-sided map now. So, let's look at this real quick. Nope, it's, it's the other side. I would it. So, so our coordinates would be 400, no, no, no. 300, no, 70. Uh, actually, Bobo, that won't be necessary. What? You see, I've just realized I can read this map. Well, congratulations. Good for you. Today must be your lucky day. Well, Bobo, I don't think you understand what this means. Since the ability to read that map was the only thing keeping you and your comrade alive, you're both now expendable. Is that savvy? <laughs> Long I said, good for you, mate. I didn't tell you this, Bobo, but do you know who killed Beatrice? Who, who took her away from me? Forever, it was a pirate. His name, Captain Bobo. You don't understand, do you? Death is coming for you. Darkness has come. It's not all darkness, mate, as long as one chooses to look for the light. What's going on here? Oh, yeah, nothing. Me and this pirate just had some business to attend to. You can go now, Bobo. Oh. Way to talk. Okay. I admit you were right about Friedrich Beagle and his sinister plot. I knew you'd see it my way, Hockey! Captain Hawkins, if you please. You know, you like to think of yourself as Captain Hawkins, but it's really all perspective, because although you like to think of yourself as Captain Hawkins, I like to think of you more like Johnny, or Hockey, or Johnny Boy. So, why don't you think of yourself the way that you would like to think of yourself, and I'll think of yourself the way that I would like to think of yourself. Savvy? Sounds pretty good to me. Anyways... I don't think there's anything I can do to help. Well, there's always something you can do to help. Actually, I'll find a peanut right now. That could help. Are you serious? Why can't you help? Well, Governor Tim won't listen to me because he's a higher rank than me. And if I try anything on my own, I could lose my position or even my life. I just don't know what to do. Well, as my great aunt used to say, Bobo, you do what's wrong, no matter what. I hate him! I hate that captain! 
Charles! Okay, sir, calm down. I can't, I can't, while well, that bobo is alive! Sir, may I speak for a moment? I've been with you for many years, and over the time, you've been changing for the worse. Well, people change, Charles! People change! Sir, you've really changed for the worse. I've lied for you, I've stolen for you, I've even killed for you, and I'm not gonna do it any longer. Are you telling me you're walking out? Yes, I am. I'm gonna tell Governor Tim and everyone else about what the horrid things are about to do. After all I've done for you, after all these years, after all the money I've given you, after the pumpernickel bread! Sir, I've just seen you become consumed by the power and revenge, and that's why I'm leaving you. If I don't have the right to revenge, who does? No one. Skitty-pop, skitty-pop, pop, 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 I'm sorry, it was the best I could do. It'll be here as soon as possible. Well, I'm just happy that you decided to finally join my side of things. I really wouldn't put it that way. Admit it, mate. You like me. No, I don't. You don't. I know it. Come on, Ellie. Maybe you just pour some here for me. And then pour some here for you. I'll find that plans seldom work out the way that one plans them. So, instead of planning for a plan to go wrong, I'll plan for a plan to go wrong. That way I'm always ready to make it up. Or, actually, sometimes I'll just do my favorite thing in the world. Inframars. How do you do all that, Captain? I'm Captain Bobo, mate. Hello, Captain Bobo. I've been discussing your situation with Mr. Inglewood. Apparently, he can read the map as well, which means that you're no longer a necessity. Hawkins, is the gallows ready? It is done, sir. <laughs> Undone! Done! Undone! Done! See, mate, according to the law of pants, you must require in a law or jury thingy that makes it so that you can hang somebody. Then you have to have eight people for your jury, and I'll only see four here. You read five, the law. Five, five. So you've read the law. Helps me sleep. Well, we are near an island. How about we stump them off over there? And then they'll die anyway. This does not sound like a very good plan to me. Oh, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll be taking this now, Bobo. And that, I want that back. Take that back. Have a nice swim. Stuck on an island again. What's that, dudes? Ah, pickled pomegranates. What do you all have to do that? Bubbles, this is bones. Bones, this is bubbles. Where did you meet him? In jail. Quite an unfortunate experience. Hey, hey, look at this. 
Got him! <laughs> so how are we going to get off this island and stop Englewood from getting this treasure? I can honestly say that I have no idea whatsoever. So I don't see you and you go and try to figure out what's on this island. Alright. Stop Englewood. Save Bones. Make sure Inglewood doesn't get the treasure. Save the world. Now look where it's gotten me now. Stuck on an island with a man that can't even see, and another who's practically insane with no hope of being rescued, and the fact that once Inglewood gets the treasure because no one's going to stop him, he's probably going to come here and kill me. Captain, I checked the island. There is not much on it. Well, that's one. Why don't you just look around and see if there's any ships passing by? Or All I see are some sea turtles in the reef. Sea turtles, mate. You wouldn't be starting the party without me, would you, mate? Oh, Bobo, why do you have to ruin everything? It was perfectly easy getting the governor to come back on my side. You know what your problem is? You show up when it's the least convenient. And I'm here to make sure that never happens again. On guard. <laughs> With my run, but in the end, you couldn't defeat me. Maybe I could if I had a little bit of help. One word, bringing in my head. <laughs> We'll never be here even if we're together. Go, find the dagger. I'll hold them off. <laughs> Did you think the fighting would stop? It wasn't supposed to. I lost everything to do this, but at least I know it is my thing. Arr, Bobo, I guess you done good. You done good, Bobo. I guess you'll take the hook and live forever. Actually, I don't think so. Why not? There's only one way to live forever, Captain Ho-Ho. You told me that. Hmm? The truth is, it's better to just live it off than to spend an eternity trying to keep it. Purr. Well, hey, did I ever tell you about the skeleton that went to a tavern? Well, there was a tavern next to the ocean, and a skeleton went in there and ordered a root beer and a mop. <laughs> Together again, mates. Aye, aye, Captain. You know, I've been through a lot with you mates over the years, good and bad. And you know one thing that I've realised? We are the Pirates of Pax. And we're Coachy Lit! Yeah!
you so much for watching the Pirates of Pants 3. Thank you to all those who helped make this video possible. I couldn't have done it without you, so thank you all very much. Um, so, in the Pirates of Pants 3, there's a lot of talk about eternal life and living forever. And Captain Bobo even says um, there's only one way to truly live forever. And what, do, what does that mean? Well, in the Bible, there actually is only one way to truly live forever, and that's through Jesus. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And so, what do we need to know about Jesus, and what do we need to believe about him in order to have eternal life and not eternal death? Well, we need to believe three things. One, he is the Son of God. Two, he died on the cross for our sins. Three, on the third day after dying on the cross, he was raised again, defeating death and allowing us to live forever with him. Um, if you've just heard about these things or you're just now reminded of them and you want eternal life, I encourage you to talk to someone um, or study it for yourselves and just decide for yourself because it's a really important thing. Eternal life is free and all you have to do is ask for it. So do that. God loves you so much and he wants a relationship with you. So just do that. Thank you very much once again and... Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video.